I'm going to start clicking the buttons. Okay. Going live. I think you're live. Why don't you say something? Can you guys hear me? Lincoln is under the desk right now. Muffin, what are you doing? Can you guys hear me? Oh, I don't see anything on my screen, though. It, there's the delay, though. Oh. Oh, we got lots of sunscreen to talk about. You spent a lot of money on sunscreen over the years. Oh. Oh. I think I'm on TV. Apologize I made for it. anyone listening on headphones. Sorry if you're listening on headphones. Should I talk softer? No. No, it's fine. Just tell me. Oh, they can hear me. Woo, woo. Oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, they can hear me loud and clear. I don't know if loud and clear is a good thing because my nickname is Squeaks. Or used to be Squeaks because of my high-pitched voice. So it's not always a good thing. <laughs> oh, Snow Giraffe. Hello, hello. Where's everyone from? Oh, I'm looking at this camera. Where are you guys all from? Because I'm here and it's like negative 5 out. Tomorrow it's going to be negative 19. Today it's negative 5 out, but they say it feels like negative 20. Like, awesome! I love negative 20. I love to go out and freeze instantly the second I go outside. Oh, thank you for the, yeah, the sweater. I'm always cold, but I'm always hot at the same time, if that makes any sense. I'm always cold, but I'm always like a little sweaty. Sydney. So this gives me a little ventilation. Germany, London, Alabama, Sydney, wow, Texas, Florida. Netherlands, Vancouver, Seattle, Manitoba. I'm jealous. Finland, Costa Rica. I love Costa Rica. Greece is beautiful. Korea. So you guys are probably, oh, snowstorm here Sunday. You know, we haven't had a lot of snow. I mean, it hasn't been terribly Finland. cold. Finland, Detroit, UK, <laughs> Columbia, Rhode Island. Wow, this is amazing. UK, Sweden. Wow. So some of you guys aren't as cold, I'm guessing. <laughs> Yeah, Sweden's about the same. Sweden's cold. Oh, Minnesota. Yeah, you betcha. Romania, <laughs> Los Angeles. 53. I'd take 53. 53 is nice. You know, there's like, I play Pokemon a little bit, and there's a Reddit thread about Pokemon, and there was somebody that was complaining that it was too cold out to go play Pokemon. And I looked up where they're from, and the temperature was like 60. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like zero here. And I got little gloves that have like a little hole in the finger so I can still play Pokemon. Cause I'm, I shouldn't tell people that. Why? <laughs> I know it's embarrassing. I'm sorry. It's kind of addicting though. I don't know. Ask him if anyone else plays Pokemon. Do you guys play Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm always like, that guy took my gym out. And then cameraman's like, it's probably a 12-year-old kid. I'm like, he still, that's not the etiquette. You don't take someone's gym out when they've had it less than eight hours. But if he's 10, he probably doesn't care about etiquette, so... Oh, are you loving the sick of it? I love this one. So I've, we're going to talk about sunscreens in a minute, but I separated them into the ones I'm currently really enjoying using. And I finally ordered the P20 sunscreen, which is supposed to come Wednesday, but the postman drove right by our house and just left a note to come pick it up on Saturday. So I didn't get it in time to test it or even look at it, but it'll be here soon. So I'm excited to test that one out. So... Negative 32 in Manitoba. Well, you got me beat. So now I don't feel... Now well, it's like negative 5 looks warm and Canada, balmy. Canada doesn't count. Canada doesn't count. <laughs> Canada's always cold. Canada's <laughs> always cold. Well... So oh, Minnesota. thank you. Yes, this one's great. Snow Giraffe. I almost call you by your name, but I, I'll call you Snow Giraffe. But this one's... I really like it. So... Oh, there's a lot of ones I really like and I've been testing. So... Oh, who doesn't love Pokemon? There we go. Everyone loves Pokemon. <laughs> Norway. Huh? Norway. Norway. Scotland. Norway's amazing. Scotland. My parents went to Scotland for a trip. And I almost <laughs> went with, but you know what? I'm glad I didn't because my dad driving on the left side of the road. My mom thought she was going to die like multiple times during that vacation. So I'm okay I didn't go with, but I guess if I would have went with, I would have made him take a taxi or something. Because my dad's bad enough driving on the right side of the road. He I can't imagine. To drive on normally. You know what the worst part was? I was in the car with my dad I don't know, a year ago or so. I'm like, Dad, we're going down a wrong way. And you know his reaction was to speed up and go as fast as possible. I'm like, no, back up and get out of here. But 
It's like fight or flight kicked in. It's like, get out of it as fast as possible. It's 70 miles an hour. We're going. So, 44 in Vancouver. Maybe we need to move to Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver's nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'd take Vancouver. Scotland. Oh, I, I, I got to hit Scotland sometime. But I don't know if we'll ever be able to travel again, but maybe in my lifetime we'll see it. I don't know. So, sounds like my dad. <laughs> We can always go to Rochester. Oh, a story about your parenting and your dad's driving. We're twins, I'm convinced. <laughs> I'd be that driver. Yeah, I, you know what? I I typically don't go down the wrong way, generally. I'm sure I have at some point, but it doesn't stick out to me because I didn't get arrested or pulled over. I did get pulled over like a couple years ago, and I didn't get a ticket because the cop was so impressed with my... Uh, driving record that I had no violations or anything. So, what did he say? I was a, uh, I was a wonderful driver or something. <laughs> There's some grand word he used. So, oh, thank you for the sweater. I think I got this at Express a while ago, and I just found it in my closet. I was cleaning out stuff uh, to give to charity. I finally found a charity to give a lot of my stuff to. So I found this. I'm like, I'm gonna keep this. I like it. So, and it kind <laughs> of you got a little bit of an air vent. So. Sarah, would you go to L'Oreal's Laboratories if they invited you? I absolutely. You know what? I really, before all this stuff started, I really wanted to, uh, Cameron and I were talking about calling up some companies and touring some of their labs. Because I thought it would be a very interesting video. And it would be very interesting for myself, too. So that was before all this started. But I'd love to do it at some point once some of this stuff dies down. There's a big... Uh, Cara Clenditioner, the Cara Color, they have a big lab in Egan. So some that's where I want to start and tour theirs. And then I would love to tour some of the big companies too. That would be amazing. So I would definitely tour them. So, oh, my skin is glowing even the winter. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe it's just a bit of the cold because I walked yesterday and you know, my face hurt. And I, I only had like this much uncovered, basically just my nose and a little bit of my forehead in it. And it hurts. So I think maybe I should get goggles or something. I don't know. Because I put my little hood on. So it's like I got my sunglasses on. But then this is, I don't know. Maybe I need like a scuba mask or something. There's got to be some way. I don't know. It's better than Vaseline. So let's see. Yeah, you mentioned L'Oreal because Johnson Johnson probably has state-of-the-art labs. I, I, I bet. So, yeah. We're in the Twin Cities, Minnesota. Yeah, that you betcha. You. I know. I saw it. I'm like, yeah. That's... I was just—I thought you were missing some of the comments. Oh, okay. There we go. Alley sunscreen is great. This one's really great. And I'm going to talk about. There's a bunch of new sunscreens coming out soon, oh. so I want to talk about those as well. So, the sick of it. It's a little greasy, but for me, my skin's super dry. If I set with a little bit of powder, I don't have any issues with it, even towards the end of the day. But there's some people that find it too greasy, so. Slather Vaseline to go out in the wind. Yeah, that's, you know, when I used to run, I, that's what I, I would just put a thick layer of Vaseline all over my face. And you know what? When I took it off, my skin felt really hydrated, even though it was like really freaking cold out. So I'm a little bit, the older I get, I get a little more wimpy. Like yesterday I was walking, I saw these two kids. They're probably 17 or 18. They're out there running. I mean, it's like that much snow. They're out there running. They've got like, capri pants on and like a sweatshirt and that was it i'm like god i miss being young and being able to like like not feel pain like that you know like the older you get the cold just kind of sticks in your bones a little bit so let's see okay so a couple of news things i wanted to mention you know what? i've heard good things about the ultraviolet clean screen but it's from Australia, and I have not been able to find a way to get it ordered here yet, unless I do, like, a uh, third-party delivery thing, which I might have to do. But I've heard really good things about that, so. You know what? The CeraVe healing ointment is better than Vaseline, because it actually has some better ingredients in it. But, you know what? If you're just going to apply it, go out in the cold, and then rinse it off, I guess it's okay. So, let's see. Okay. So, the Hut Group, they own Look Fantastic, Look Fantastic, Feel Unique, Skin Store. They own all these websites. They recently bought Derm Store from Target. So, I don't know. I posted on the website or the uh, YouTube feed, but it's kind of a bummer because the Hut Group, their websites are, 
they sell a lot of stuff and they have a lot of good deals but their customer service isn't the best they have a beauty box the look fantastic beauty box which when it first when I first started getting it was really good and then it went down here really fast so the fact that the hut group is buying Dermstore, they're really trying to get more into the US market and their bigger thing they mentioned is they really want to scale up their beauty box business so buying Dermstore that has the Beauty Fix Beauty Box, which has a lot of subscribers, is their easiest way into this market. So they bought it for $350 million cash huh. from Target. So it kind of looks interesting because, uh, was it six or seven months ago, Target announced that they are going to have Ulta come into a lot of their stores. And I'm like, that's weird. Why wouldn't they just have a Dermstore set up instead of bringing Ulta into their stores? But now it all makes sense because Target doesn't own Dermstore anymore. So... I don't know if any of you guys get the Beauty Fix box, but it's going to go downhill, I have a feeling. So, uh, Another interesting story is CBC Capital bought the Shiseida Personal Care Group, which doesn't include Shiseido, but includes some of their brands such as Senka, which has a lot of skincare products, and Subaki hair products. And they bought this for $1.5 billion. And now Shiseido's main goal now is to focus on their prestige brands because now they've bought a lot of big they've bought dr jart recently so it's going to be interesting to see what shiseido does with this i don't know don't like the hut group bad experiences very true skin store sent me you know what skin store is just sorry to circle back but i just they have really great sales but not when they send you expired products. I guess if you're getting a discount on something that's expired, shouldn't they just give it to you for free at that point? Or, like, pay you to take it off their hands? So, yeah, their customer service is pretty bad. It was over three years old. Oh, my goodness. That's a big mistake. How do they even have that sitting? You know what? When I have a sunscreen, and I know, because I'm always testing ones, and I know it's getting close to, like, within, like, six months or two months of expiration, I try and give it to a friend or family, but they're getting all stocked up on sunscreen. And some of them aren't the best at using sunscreen, but I can't imagine holding on to something that's three years old. I mean, at least they could have donated it or put it to good use or something. Because somebody paying a lot of money for something doesn't want something that's been expired for three years. That means it was probably made five years ago. So, Or maybe it was Estee Lauder that bought Dr. Jart. I think you're right. You're right. Estee Lauder bought Dr. Jart. I was getting those two confused, so... Okay. Oh, or uh, Aurelia Probiotics. I've tried a few of their things. They have some nice fragrance-free stuff, and I've been mean to review. They've got their Concentrate Serum. I'll review that one soon, but I like it. But with that Aurelia, probably saying it wrong, Probiotics, it's like they're hit or miss. Some of their products have essential oils in them, and some of them are fragrance-free, so you just have to do some digging on it. But I'll review that brand. Let me write it. Do you have a pen? Oh, you've got a pen somewhere. Here we go. i got to remember to review them. Okay, so, and then another another interesting thing coming back to Shiseido, I don't know if any of you guys, they're always researching sunscreens, and they have worked to create a new dispersion powder for UV filters, such as, I guess, zinc and titanium dioxide, and they're calling this the Smooth Protect Technology which researchers say the new technology gives these ingredients in sunscreen a finer and much smoother finish and the particles with this dispersion technology it gives uh, much much less of a white cast and much less of a thick feeling and they say it also gives sunscreens a bare skin feel and Shiseido knows what they're doing with their sunscreens because they've got some amazing just their Anessa brand has some good stuff. So, can you pull up the link to that uh, article I sent you? Yeah, hang on. On the new sunscreens. So, yeah, Shiseido, their skincare products in general are pretty bland. Their sunscreens are great, but their skincare products, most of them just aren't very exciting and have a lot of scent in them. But their sunscreens are great. So, I'm really excited to test some of these new products with this new Smooth Protect technology yeah. they've got. Okay, so can you scroll? I'm trying to see what you're up. Keep going. Can you do you see Anessa yet? I don't see anything. Oh, just scroll down to the next page. 
Keep going. Keep going. So these are all the new suns. Go to the next page. So this is a list of all new sunscreens that are coming out. I should have just sent you the page to Anessa, but yeah. there's a lot of new sunscreens coming How do you out. Spell it? Should I just search for it? No, keep going down. I think it's on this page. Anessa? Yes. Yep. There we go. So, and so in these new Anessa sunscreen products that are coming out February 21st, it's going to have this new exciting technology, which gives the sunscreens a bare skin feel, which generally. In the past, I'd associate something that feels really nice as being too good to be true, but some of the researchers, which are probably paid for by Shiseido, say this is the new technology, and it's going to make it feel great and amazing, and no white cast with the same or better UV protection. So that'll be very interesting to see. Let's see. Oh, they saw Nessa. Oh, the Sun Aqua. I haven't tried any of the Shiseido hair products, but I'm going to have to. You know what? Yeah, the Alley, this has zinc in it, but it doesn't really have any. It, when you first apply, it's got a bit of white cast, but it disappears pretty quickly. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, can you share the link to that page? Yeah. It's kind of interesting because they've got a list of all the new J and K Beauty sunscreens that are coming out. And there's new versions of, I believe, this coming out. And... The Kose, how do I don't know how to pronounce that? Sekasi, Sekasi. So they've got new versions of these coming out. Uh, new, there's a new uh, Biore one coming out, which is called Light Up, which has these light dispersing particles in there. Wish I had control of the web page. How do I get control? Of, no, I'm just kidding. You want to? No, just go. Screen? No, just go back to the very first page, baby. You want, I don't know what you No, mean. I'm just kidding. Just go back to the very first post, which is the new version of the Biore Aqua Rich Essence. Because this one looks really exciting. Where is it? Is that the very first page? Yeah, I believe so. Yes, it is. So it's the second one. <laughs> go up. No, no, no. Up, 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 up. It's the very second. The oh. white and blue cap. That one looks very exciting. I'm excited, but I don't know. Sunscreens, when they market it as it's going to be light dispersing particles, I don't know. A lot of times it ends up looking shiny and greasy. I don't know, but Biore knows what they're doing with their sunscreens because they're one of the few brands that have really passed in these tests. So, although it's got alcohol in them, but where's the other one I'm going to review soon? Hang on. It's a little bit. Oh, here we go. The Athlazim. I like this one. This one does have alcohol in it, but it doesn't have as strong a scent as the other Biore ones do. So, I don't know. I like this one. I, this is the Essence. I also picked up the Milk version, which is supposed to be coming soon as well. So, I don't know. I, I went crazy recently and ordered a bunch of new sunscreens because I know... Everybody, or a lot of people probably want to find new sunscreens, so let's see. Nivea, yes, Nivea. They're making new sunscreens as well, so. Oh, have you not seen that page, Snow Giraffe? I love this site. Radzilla, is that, I don't know how they say it, but they've always got lists of new sunscreens. It's really nicely spelled out. They've got a picture of it. They talk about the filters, the ingredients, the texture, and it's a really good site. I love it. They've just, they've always got new stuff. The only problem is when I see the new stuff, I want to buy it instantly. And then I see coming February 21st. So then I've got to remember to buy it on February 21st. So Katy Perry lover, I love you. I love your avatar name. Um, You know what? Okay, so alcohol and sunscreens. So when I first really got into skincare, my skin's really dry. I was pretty opposed to alcohol in products. However, I've found with sunscreens, it is so hard to find great sunscreen options in general. It's even harder to find ones that don't have fragrance in them and harder to find ones that don't have alcohol in them. If it has alcohol in it, it's something you will use every day. I'm for it. Just use something hydrating underneath and use a good moisturizer at night. That's my thought on it. I mean, 
if you have really, really dry skin, like a broken down skin barrier, it might get to be a bit more of an issue. But if you can use a good moisturizer underneath the sunscreen and use a good moisturizer at night, I think you can kind of cancel it out a little bit. But if you have a broken skin barrier or like broken skin or like rash or things like that, then I would probably avoid it. But for general use on a daily basis, if it's something you'll use every day and you like it and you like the texture of it, go for it. That's my thought on it. I try to avoid it in everything else I can, but sometimes it's just hard to find a good option that you like. So, oh, the bathroom remodel plans. I've picked out the, uh, I picked out the countertop and I picked out the paint. So now I just have to get cameraman to get it done. But uh, I'll I, keep you guys posted. I'm going to ban whoever asked about that. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'm going to review this one, Scott, in the next couple weeks. So I'll talk about that. Yeah, it does have a few acne jack ingredients. Although I think the milk one might be a bit better. So I'll definitely... The dermatology sunscreens are great, too. So... Okay, so somebody asked what my favorite one is at the moment. That's a hard one. I can never pick out like an absolute favorite. But if I'm in a rush and I just want something I know is going to work, I, I really am enjoying the, this one, the Alley Kenbo. If I'm in a quick rush and I need to pick something that I know is going to apply easily, work fine under my beauty balm, this one's a good one. But I've also really been enjoying testing out some of the Anessa ones, too. I really like them. The one thing I found with tinted sunscreens, especially ones made overseas, like out of the U.S., the tint for almost all of them is so dark for my pale, pale skin. I don't know what to do with it. I mean, they're so dark. And I don't know why. Even a lot of the ones made in the U.S. have a really dark tint, which doesn't work for a lot of people, but... I've just found like like this Ultra Sun one. I love it. And the tint on it's really dark. So you know what? If it's something I'm just gonna be out for the day and I don't really mind who's watching, it's pretty deep. It's, and you know what? If you don't apply it liberally, it doesn't matter as much. But if you're really religious, and I keep this in my bathroom now, because when I'm testing sunscreens, I think it's important to make sure you're applying them liberally. When you go by the quarter teaspoon, the darkness even looks more deep. And unless you dilute it with some type of pigment, which I don't really recommend with sunscreens, it's really hard to find. And let's see. Oh, this is another good one. I'll talk about this in a second, but let's see. Like the HelioCare one that's colored. They have like three color options. This one is the lightest, and it's this one's pretty deep too. I mean, obviously, once you smooth it in, it's not as deep, but still, for somebody super pale, it's too deep. So, and I really don't like the thought of adding other things to lighten them up. And then Freezy Derm, they also have one. Hang on one second. There we go. And then Freezy Derm's one that has color. This one's also really deep as well. Oh, hang on, got to switch it on. And that's, I think, a one color fits all. Oh, sorry. Well, I hope you will not. There you go. Yeah, pretty deep. So if you're pale, not so much. So those are those three. And I mean, you can, you know, if I, you know, like. Um, Derm Color, or what is that brand? They've got uh, pigments that you lighten it, and Cover FX has those little pigments you mix in. I just, I don't like mixing anything in with the sunscreen because it just can affect it in ways that really haven't been studied or looked at or researched much. That's why when Drunk Elephant recommends mixing, you know, the bronze gel in with the, the white sunscreen, I just, I just don't like going there because you don't know exactly how it's going to affect it and how the sunscreen's made, so... Okay, you know what, I'm excited, you know, I bought, I picked up the Bioderma Aqua Fluid Tint, but it hasn't come yet. So I like the Aqua Fluid, this one's the cream, but 
So I'm, I'm excited for the tint, but I have a feeling it's going to be dark again because even the lightest ones are still super dark. So you guys want to see a picture really quick of my mom when she was my age? Do you want to pull it up, Joe? That's my mom at the same age I am today. This was out of my high school yearbook because she was the school nurse, which was awesome. Because when she was the school nurse, like for biology, I would just go and pretend I had a headache and lay on the cot. <laughs> she looks pretty darn good. I don't know. I think she aged better than I have. You know what? She didn't even use sunscreen ever. Remember? And she, she used to love to sit in the sun. Some people just have good genetics. I, she should have passed them down to me, but I must have got my dad's aging genetics. So, anyway. Fun story. You should tell me it's photoshopped. Oh, why is it photoshopped? Because the lady next to her took a terrible photo. No. Cause oh, because she signed my <laughs> yearbook. <laughs> I had her sign my yearbook. She was... I didn't have any friends to sign it, so my mom signed it. <laughs> yeah, my mom was awesome, man. I miss her, man. Yeah, so that's the same age I am today. I don't know. Maybe black and white helps? I don't know. <laughs> I should take all my pictures in black and white from now on, so... You know what, I definitely got more of my dad's DNA, and my brother definitely got more of my mom's DNA. Just our personalities and everything. And my dad and I are both total insomniacs, and my mom and my brother, they could just fall asleep at the drop of a hat. Every night, no problem. I'm just a total insomniac, just like my dad, so. Yeah, she had beautiful teeth, you know what? She grew up, and her parents, they had three kids. They didn't have any money at all. They lived on this little farm. They never, she never got to go to the dentist. I think she went to the dentist for the first time when she was, like, 25 years old. She had beautiful, they almost looked fake. But it's amazing. I don't, She had good genes, so I got my dad's. Which is okay. My dad was the more intellectual one, and my mom was the more emotional one. And so, anyway. Yeah, my mom was awesome, man. She had that... She rescued so many dogs in her lifetime. I was trying to count them up the other day, but there's a ton of them. At least eight that I can think of off the top of my head. So, anyway, fun. I just, I saw that and I had to think of it. Oh, your mom died when you were seven. Oh, that's got to be tough. I can't even. I don't, I feel like I was too young because my mom died when I was, what, 33? I felt that was too young, you know what I mean? But it's more than a lot of people get, so I'll take it, you know? So, if your mom is still out there, give her a hug. Or maybe not. Don't give her COVID or anything, but do that. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, one other thing I wanted to also talk about, and then we'll talk more about sunscreens because it's fun, but I found this to be an interesting article that Biosance, the brand, Biosance, they are planning to uh, expand into the Asian market this month, including China. Their goal is to become the clean beauty brand leader of China, which they're, they vowed only to enter brick and mortar in China once animal testing has been abolished. However, entering China even online these days, it appears to be kind of a gray area. Because technically, there's been new rulings like if it's sold online in China and someone has an issue with that product, it can be bought online and then tested by the authorities. So, is Biosense cruelty free? I don't really know. It's really kind of a gray area. And I've known like a lot of brands like First Aid Beauty have been selling online in China for a long time. For uh, five or six years but it was new information that if somebody had a reaction to something they bought online that it could then be pulled and then test on animals that was newer information that kind of came out over the last year and I had a lot of people asking me it's first day beauty cruelty free I'm like well yeah they are and then I started doing more research and it's like no they're kind of in a gray area where they're not necessarily in brick and mortar being tested on animals that way, but if they're online, it's someone who buys it online, has a reaction, it can be pulled and tested online. So I don't know if that makes Biosense still technically cruelty-free or clean brand. Maybe there's one website through China that that's not allowed. And I know China and Chinese officials are working a lot with PETA to establish new protocols and things like that because I know China really doesn't want 
them, to, you know, any brand that sells there to be considered not cruelty free. So it's kind of an interesting thing to think about. So anyway, okay. Why not get a professional peel from a dermatologist? I should try that. I did one peel once in a dermatologist and it hurt so much. And I had like two more in the package and I didn't go back because I was such a baby. But <laughs> Are any of those places open? Oh, yeah, I think some of them are. There's a brand known as Meta Metaderma that sells professional grade peels, peels to dermatologists. I'm going to have to check that out. You know, my mom, she, she did weird stuff. Remember that one time she did this thing? I don't know what it was, but her face was like all bloody afterwards. <laughs> Do you remember that? For like a week. Yeah. It was painful looking. But you know what? She looked good, so. Let's see. Oh, when I was tw I was 28 when my mom died, I feel like an orphan, and I'm 37. I know. You know what? When you lose your mom, it's just... You know, your dad... Dads are great, but when you need somebody to just pump you up a little bit, moms are great at that. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's never the same. It's never. So... But now I get to take care of her four Yorkies, so... It makes me think of her when I see them, so... Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Never buy a package. I bought a laser hair remover. Never buy. I know. The package thing. They got me on that. Here's a package of three peels. The first one will hurt so bad, you're never going to want to come back. Or, you know what I mean? Or if it went bad. or I'm sure they're expired now. That was like 10 years ago. But yeah, I should have just bought one peel. But whatever. You live and you learn. So... They got my money in there, I'm sure, using it to get through this, so. Oh, Chloe says, I've always wanted to say hi to me. Oh, thank you, that's so sweet. So, let's see. If your skin is good without SPF, then that's great. But, you know what? Think about if you do use sunscreen every day, just even how much better your skin can look. I, I'd probably look like I was 10 if I would have been using sunscreen every day. I mean, I'd go to the pool when I was little. And you, my mom would make me put sunscreen on when we got there. But we weren't reapplying it every two hours, you know. But people know things now that they didn't. So, British showers in the room from British. Hello, BC. BC in the house. The Elta MD APF 44. Is that one of their... So, this one I love. Their UV Clear SPF 46. But... I don't know that I've tried their 44. Is that one of the mineral ones? I tried, so one of Elta MD, they've got, they've got their line. This one's chemical and mineral combo, but they've also got a lot of mineral ones. And I tried one of the mineral ones, I thought, but it was tinted, but it was just too thick and the tint was off. So I'm kicking myself for not knowing to wear sunscreen every day of my life. Yeah. You know what? You start when you're 27, so you've got, you know what? You've got that going better than a lot of other people, so. I really started doing skincare because I was bored. Yeah, you know what? Well, you know what? Skincare sales during all this COVID stuff have gone through the roof. I mean, they've really, a lot of brands, a lot of them are doing well. Not all of them, but there's been a real boom in it, so. Oh, my new countertops. We're very excited about them. Gray. Gray and a light gray paint. So I'm very excited. And new tile. Who keeps asking that? <laughs> it's a different person. Everyone's excited for us. <laughs> we finally get new countertops. We get, get to get rid of the ones I melted through with my curling iron. So let's see. Tell them I'm keeping track of who says this. <laughs> Cameraman. <laughs> I don't know if the Elta includes that ingredient or not. So I'll have to check. But this one's pretty good. It's it's interesting. Oh, the Eisden. This one from Eisden. Is that how you say it? I don't know. It's only got two sil two cons two syllables in it. No consonants, vowels. <laughs> <laughs> this one I really like. Their fusion fluid. This one really impressed me. I really was happy with this one. I wasn't sure. I hadn't tried any sunscreen from them, but this one I really liked because once it sets, it kind of is pretty invisible. And it works really well under foundation makeup. I really was impressed with this one. So I'm trying to think if I picked up anything else from this brand or not. But this one I love from Eisden. So how tall am I? I am 5'4 on a good day. And when I wear my new running shoes that I walk in, 
I'm like 5'5". Five five. Those shoes have a thick sole. I love them. <laughs> How tall do you think you are? You know what? I do feel taller than other people when I walk up to them. I don't know why. It must be like a height complex thing. So, Crave Beat Shield. A lot of people have been discussing the Beat Shield, which I thought I had up here, but I don't. Maybe. Well, whatever. Oh, here it is. So, that's not it. I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, well, I thought I had it, but I don't. But whatever. The Crave Beat Shield. Yeah. Okay, I don't have it, but... A lot of people have been discussing that one, and it sounds... They keep saying there's more tests coming out from this institute, but I think that institute that was doing a lot of testing, they're based in Korea, I feel like they're getting called out by any K-beauty brand they test and told not to talk about it. That's my thought on it, because there is supposed to be more tests coming and more brands being tested. And then the last video <clears throat> they put out about two weeks ago, they didn't verbally say anything. They showed the pictures of, like, the Keep Cool. They just said the SPF was, like, too low to be tested. But then when they showed the pictures of it, it looked like it said 28.6. But I have a feeling that this institute that's testing all these is being told not to talk about it anymore. That's my gut feeling on it. Because they had a whole list of all these sunscreens they were going to test. And then not much comes out, not much comes out, and then... We haven't heard anything for two weeks. That's my gut feeling on it. I don't really know. So, and everyone asked why they didn't mention the actual SPF in the video instead of just saying it's too low. I feel like that's my gut feeling is that they're being told to stop talking about it. But I'm not certain that's just what my gut tells me. So, the Crave Beat Shield, I keep waiting for more tests on that one to come out too. And... I have a feeling it's going to be above 50. That's my gut feeling on it because I, that's, I, and I hope I'm right about it because I could be wrong. So I hope I'm right in that it does well. So, but yeah. Oh, I've got a couple uh, dupe products too to mention. Oh, Innisfree. I've been meaning to, I'm going to, which Innisfree, Innisfree has a ton of sunscreens. If you guys have a specific one that you want me to test, let me know, and I'll definitely do it. So I think at, at my tallest, I'm 6.30? 6.3 or 6.30. Does that make you like 9 feet tall? Is that centimeters? Oh, that could be centimeters. Oh, yeah. we're. I don't know why in the U.S. we use something different. It's kind of obnoxious. You know, Misha's sunscreens seem to have really good... SPF in them, but they have so much scent in them, but I think they're made by them themselves. So I think Misha's sunscreens in general have really been fine in this whole deal. So, you know, Color Science, I'm going to review a few of theirs because I've got a few of their products too. So they're waterproof sun milk. Okay. I'm getting some good ideas. Not the other thing I really want is the UV camera. Yeah, like sunscreen or something where you just attach it to your phone and then you can take a picture and you can see all the spots on your face where you missed applying sunscreen. I really want to get one of those, but they've been sold out for forever and I keep trying to find a similar something like it and I just haven't been able to. So this Eucerin one, I like this one. This one's got a lot of alcohol in it. It's their mattifying sun shield. But if you apply it over a good... Uh, moisturizer this one i like because it goes on pretty easily so yeah this one's really nice it doesn't have any scent to it but it does have a lot of alcohol in it so keep that one in mind but i'm of the belief that userin does a good job with their sunscreens and um the other brand aveen i also believe they do a pretty good job with their sunscreens as well i'm sitting at a table of sunscreens this is awesome <coughs> MD Solar Science. I've got to review that one. I've got that one on my radar. So. Okay. The LRP. La Roche Posay Moisturizer. I'm trying to find it. Hang on. 
The Claire sunscreen, I have not seen any tests on the Claire sunscreen yet. I'm assuming it's not going to do well. So if you use it, don't use it on a day you're going to be out in the sun a lot. I just, in my opinion, it's made by the same manufacturer. I don't think it's going to do well. But nothing else has come out, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I went to their that institute's webpage. I didn't see anything else about any tests coming out anytime soon. So, yeah. Yeah, Claire's and Purita are both made by with the same thing. So, <clears throat> the other ones... Claire's, Some by Me, Bonobaji, Logically Skin, Dr. Syracle, Metaheal, Dr. Althea, Hygie, B Lab. B Lab makes several sunscreens, and somebody reached out to them via like Instagram and asked uh, B Lab what the filters were and what percentage they were, and they responded that they were less than 1%, which is crazy. So they only used two filters to begin with. And the amount of them is less than 1%. It's, so if you're using B-Lab, don't use them. What was the other one? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just skin sunscreen. I would not use these right now either. Right. What? Six foot three. Six foot three. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Cameraman's a little behind, so... So Estee Lauder sunscreens, I've tried a few of them, and I found the ones I've tried just have too much scent to them. I, they came out with a newer one recently, which looks pretty in a pretty bottle, but I just find Estee Lauder, I really, they have some great ingredients in some of their products, but generally they just use too much fragrance, and I just can't get over it. So the Cots one is great. It's pretty thick, but the Cots one had a tint to it, so I'm going to try the Cots untinted version. Isn't Tree, I've got that one on order. The Isn't Tree uh, Watery Hyaluronic Sun Gel. I ordered that one. It should be here in a week or two. I'm excited. It looks really good. I think it has five or six filters in it. So I'm very excited to try that one from Isn't Tree because it's fragrance free. It has a lot of good filters in it. And I didn't think any alcohol. So I'm very excited. Once I get that one and try it, I'll review it ASAP because it looks good. So... Alta MD just launched UV Sheer, claiming it's sheer. I'm excited to try that. Because this one, it's really good, but it does have a little bit of a white cast, which, if you're deeper skin toned, if you're super pale, it's not as big of a deal. But yeah, Misha makes their own. Misha also owns uh, the APU brand, and it, that brand has a ton of sunscreens too. So, and I think. If Mish is making the, them for APU, I probably trust that most of those are pretty good sunscreens. So, let's see. Okay. So, uh, the other one, Round Lab, Skin and Lab, Fasky Lab, Bellflower, Be Plain. It looks like all of those aren't brands you would use any of their sunscreens. The other one that did well in this test was the IOP UV Shield, which I ordered. It's supposed to come soon. Feels like a lot of these sunscreens are selling really fast right now. I'm not sure if it's because of everything that's happened, but a lot of them, like the Crave Beat Shield apparently has been out of stock for a long time, unless they pulled it from the market. I don't know. I was looking through online the other day, and there's so many requests for people that want to buy the Beat Shield because they can't find it online anywhere else. So, let's see. Strong sun. Oh, six filters and no alcohol. So, Snow Giraffe, I tried the Isentree Sun Gel. It's great, but it has a strong sunscreeny smell. Six filters, which is amazing. No alcohol, but I just don't like that sunscreeny smell. I, I just... What was the Neutrogena one I tried? Well, this one has a ton of fragrance in it. And then this one, this one has a huge sunscreeny smell to it as well. So, ugh, I don't know. Garnier has an SPF fluid that is almost identical to the La Roche-Posay Shaka. I'm going to have to check that one out. I did not know that, so I'm excited. I'm going to end up with so many sunscreens. I'm going to have to send them to all my Patreons and all my family because I'm not going to be able to finish any of them. <laughs> oh, the Pipette sunscreen. I finally just ordered that and it finally just came, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'm excited to try it, though. 
So the other one I really like that has a strong white cast is the Yuraj Barasun. This one's got a lot of good filters, but the white cast is similar to what I would say the Alt MD is. It's not super noticeable and it fades the more you apply it, but anyway, so. The Make Prem, the, okay, so the Make Prem sunscreen, it's great. It's, if you have fungal acne, which some people do, there's not a lot of sunscreens that are fungal acne safe, but the Make Prem one is, and it has no acneogenic ingredients in it at all. It does have a strong fragrance and a little bit of alcohol in it. So the Make Prem kind of irritated my skin. I can use it occasionally, but I can't use it multiple days in a row without my skin starting to feel stingy at the end of the day when I apply other products. So I have not tried the A2D House one, but I will pick that one up. Well, you know what? I might have it, but I just haven't tried it yet. I'm trying to review a lot of sunscreens, so I'm definitely making it a priority right now because I know a lot of people are looking for new sunscreens. So, the Garnier Face Fluid. Okay, I'm going to have to pick that one up. I'm excited to try that one, too. The Blue Bottle from Paula's Choice, the Daily Light SPF and Moisturizer. You know what? I just used that one yesterday. I hadn't used it in a while, and I do like it, although... I have a feeling a lot of sunscreens made in the U.S. probably aren't great at UVA protection. But if you reapply them, it's a little bit better. So I do like that one. for That's my favorite Paula's Choice sunscreen, I think. So, hmm. This one from Dr. Oracle. I've been testing this one recently, too. I'll review this one soon. But I'm really liking this one. You want to hold it up to the camera? Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Floating sunscreen. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I'm really liking this one. I'll review this one soon as well. So the Bioderma sunscreens, I always get these two confused, but <clears throat> they've got their aqua fluid and they've got their cream. And the cream has an UVA protection or a, uh, of 42, which is really high, which is the aging rays. And the Aqua Fluid has a UVA of 24. So the cream version is significantly stronger than the fluid version, but both are pretty darn good for UVA protection. So keep that in mind. But if UVA and aging rays are your main concern, the cream version is the way to go because it's almost double UVA protection what the fluid version is. But I really like the fluid version because it's just easier to apply. But I think in the long run, the thicker the sunscreen is, it can provide a little bit more protection than things that are really light. But some of the newer filters are amazing in that they don't feel like anything on your skin, but they can provide really good protection, UVA protection. So, dermatology. You know what? Dermatology sunscreen, uh, you're scared it'll have a case of the Purito, but the dermatology is regulated in the U.S., which is totally different than Purito. Purito and a lot of these sunscreens kind of just slid under the radar in Korea. I'm not exactly sure what happened. They were just sliding on the radar for all these years. They got too good. Some people started calling them out and questioning them, and that led to all of this. So the dermatology one is regulated made in the U.S., so I don't necessarily think that can happen, but this can happen and has happened with so many different brands that and it's not just a K-Beauty thing. It's not a J-Beauty thing. It's not U.S. Sunscreens from every single country and almost every brand have had issues. So the one thing I did hear someone mention the other day is the Cosrx Aloe Sun Cream, which is a mineral chemical sunscreen. So it's got different filters. Somebody mentioned that they've been using this for about six months. They went to see their dermatologist, and their dermatologist said, it looks like you haven't been using sunscreen. And it looks like you're getting uh, dark, dark spots. So this one up until now hasn't been tested. It really hasn't been discussed very much. And it's hard to make a case of it with just one person. But, I mean, it could be the sunscreen. It could be them not applying it liberally enough. So that's a question I have, and I'd love to see someone test it. But it is a different formula, so it does make me a little nervous though, when I hear people mentioning. Went to the dermatologist after using this for six months straight, and their 
the dermatologist asked if I've been using sunscreen. I don't know. So, I guess we'll see. Maybe if someone can ever test it. I wish I had a lab. If I was a millionaire, I'd test all of these. Or I'd have someone test them. <laughs> Not myself, but anyway. Yeah, I mean, it could be... Who knows? I mean, I do think keeping one of these in your bathroom is handy. If you're going outside or it's a hot day or the UV index is high. I think it's a good measuring point because I know, especially myself, I am prone to not apply sunscreens liberally enough. And when I test them and I use this, sometimes my opinions change of the sunscreen because I'm not applying enough and it feels light. But when you really focus on applying it liberally, it doesn't feel as light or as elegant. So, But not all sunscreens are the same. So, I know. I wish I had a lab. We need to get a lab. Maybe the next thing when I hit 100,000, <laughs> I'll create a lab in my basement and hire like 10 people to test sunscreens 24 hours a day. Yeah. How does that sound? Maybe 10 million. 10 million? 100 million? That stuff is not cheap testing. It takes a long time. So I'm just grateful that there are people out there that are looking at them. So the untinted Freezy Derm SPF is my favorite. Living is Oh, Israel's so cool. I love Israel, so the shipping is expensive. Yeah, the Freezy Derm, the tinted Freezy Derm, I wish I wouldn't have bought. I wish I would have just got something from them that wasn't tinted, but the Derm Store, they came out with their sunscreen, which I really don't like. But some people really like this. It's just zinc, 16% zinc, but super drying, I don't know. Zinc is drying in and of itself, so... Testing sunscreen costs like $10,000. So maybe we're going to need to get when we had 100 million subscribers. <laughs> right? Yeah. There were, how many s subscribers does Hiram have? He's got like 300 million, doesn't he? I or like three, no 3 billion? Well, no, the old Earth only holds 7 billion people. Anyway, whatever. Oh, so somebody mentioned, Kat, that she was using the Casa Rex and got burned using it. Now, where did I set it? I said it somewhere. Well, so you're using the Casa X aloe. There we go. And you got burned using it. That's good to know. I, I it does feel really nice. So perhaps. Oh, Snowdrift. I guess the Rovectin sunscreens are bad too. They're manufactured the same place as Claire's. I did not know that. I ordered one of the Rovectin sunscreens recently. <gasps> oh, it's always such a bummer. You know what? It's crazy how many. Oh. Carla, Sarah's live streaming. Now, it's fun when I see so many names I rec recognize. 10,000 is just for UVB testing, not even UVA. Okay, so we're going to need a lot more subscribers for me to set this lab up. <laughs> Maybe we could hire Ike and Lincoln to work in the lab. I don't know. No, no, because that, 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 that company got banned because they used monkeys. Oh. You can't use animals as, uh, as labor. Oh, but I, I'm not going to test on them. I'm going to have Ike and Lincoln no, testing no. on me. The coconut company was using oh. monkeys to to get coconuts. Oh, wow. And they got banned because of it. Huh. I bet the monkeys probably, well, that's kind of mean if they're making them do it all the time, but <laughs> occasionally. That's I don't nice. know. You know, Lincoln has a really good taste. He could just taste the scent, test the scent of all the products. Lincoln's very good at that, so... Well, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm very, uh, okay, Rovectin is owned by Wishtrend. Okay, I'm gonna, that's gonna be interesting to see what, which one shows up and, uh, how they perform, I guess, so, I don't know. What is else? Is that South Korean? Rovectin? They're owned by Wish, yeah, yeah. So it's the same <clears throat> lab as the, uh, I little... guess. It's, you know what, there's not, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of labs that make sunscreen products. And two of the big ones apparently have been doing their job. So, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm the dermatology one. I'll review for you guys because I've tested it. I just haven't reviewed it yet, and I don't. I don't even know why. But so I'll tell. I'll I'll review that one soon too. Oh, everyone loves muffin, Lincoln. You know what? He's sitting up on the couch, and then we have a little plant that grows like these little oranges, and Lincoln just sits on the couch all day and chews on the plant. I can't believe it's still alive, but there we go. Oh, Hiram has 3 million subscribers. There we go. Okay. He's way bigger than me. 
Maybe he could set up a lab. Everyone subscribe to Hireman and ask him to set up a lab. That would be awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, okay. The other thing I wanted to mention was the dupes for the keep cool. Oh, oh, there's Gertie. Do you guys see Gertie? She's so cute. That was the last Yorkie my mom rescued. She's adorable. She's so little. She's like three pounds. She does circles and tricks. My dog does tricks. She's adorable. Oh, there's three of the Yorkies. The Yorkies are getting their hair cut tomorrow, so it's a big day. They're not. The Yorkies are not going to be happy when I drag them out of the house at negative 20 to go get their hair cut. It's not going to be fun. So, what's My Starbucks is a vanilla latte. I like the vanilla latte, but this Starbucks that I usually go to, they don't quite put enough in vanilla. But when I order it from another Starbucks, it has more vanilla in it, so... Who's that? Is that Ike? Yeah, that's the best picture of them all. Oh. Oops. There's Ikey Pooh. He's a baby. What's when they was 80? Oh. Hiram is okay, but we love you more. Oh, thank you. You guys are awesome. Let's see. Sarah, have you tried eight? Nope. I'm going to order the Etude House Sun Prize. But I'm excited. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, people don't love Hiram. <laughs> you know what? He's in Hawaii. How unfair. I want to be in Hawaii. Where it's not negative five out. Huh. So. Me too. Oh, BBQ wanted to know which doll she is. I think it's this one. Hang on. Oh, we didn't put a name. I think it's this one, though. Whimsy. At some point, I'm going to send every Patreon their Beanie Baby. At some point. Isn't that one cute? I love the glitter. At some point, I will send everyone their Beanie Baby. Maybe when we redo the set. When we redo the set. And this is Snow Giraffes. He's the dragon. I love them all. Aren't they cute? I have to keep these safe from the dogs on a regular basis. So. Should I show them Ike at the award show? Oh, there's Ike at the award show. You know what? Cameraman uses these neck pillows, and Ike always gets these neck pillows and puts them on himself. Or was that a cone that day? That was, that was the cone. That was a cone. Well, anyway. So, okay, so I've got two dupes for the Keep Cool Bamboo Toner. One of them is actually a toner. And uh, somebody mentioned this to me a couple weeks ago. The brand is 23.5 Degrees N. That's the name of the brand. But this one has no fragrance. It's got a lot of bamboo, no alcohol. It's really nice. I've only been testing about a week. But uh, I got this. This is a ta Taiwanese brand. And they're hard to find, but I picked them up from a website called Glowy Co. So I can't remember how I spelt it, but 23.5 degrees north or N. So that is the closest dupe. And the other dupe is not a toner at all. It's the B Plain Hydrating Bamboo Ampule, which is more of a serum type texture. So these two are quite similar to it. So anybody that's looking for a dupe, this one obviously is a toner. This one obviously is not. But these are the two closest products I could find that don't have fragrance or alcohol in them. So there we go. These are the two I've been working on. And for sunscreens, I'm not running into any luck finding a dupe for their sunscreen at all. Any dupe I'm finding is something else that's made by uh, Nowcoast or Green Lab. So that doesn't help to find a dupe that is also involved in the scandal. So I'm still working on that. So, Oh, I love Beauty Within, No BS Beauty, Kelly Driscoll and Dr. Dre. I love that. You see somebody found you from... Oh, Mad About Skin... I was thinking about, I'm going to have to ask him if he wants to do like a live stream collab with me sometime. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> or that'd be hard to do technologically. Well, I can hardly get this going. Oh, okay. So. Oh, is, my, is mom the thumbnail of the live stream? She, she might be. I have no idea. I, I can't find it. I'll take a look, I guess. Oh. Um.
Let's see. Yeah, you know what? This 23N brand is really amazing. I like uh, this one. Now, it, it, for me, it's Gertie. Oh, it's Gertie now is the thumb. I guess maybe it changes maybe as the video goes on. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have a recommendation for a glycolic acid cream? Um, the Alpha Skincare brand, they've got a pretty good glycolic acid cream. I think it's about 15%, but it's pretty affordable. So that one's worth checking out. So... Oh, can I do a video starting retinol in your 30s? Yeah, your mom had you scared of it. At 37, you can definitely try retinol. But you know what they do? There is a whole process called retinization for a reason because it dries out your skin. It can cause purging and all these things. But if you start out with a really gentle retinol and use a good moisturizer after it, you don't need to go through that process at all. So... The one I would recommend checking out is the Versed Press Reset Retinol. That's a good one to start out with, but just use it. I, I should do a whole video on it. I will, because just start using it maybe twice a week and really slowly work your way up. That's the key. Slow, slow, slow is the key. I can't say it about anymore. Oh, everyone wants a Mad About Skin collab. Love Mad About Skin, too, and he is, loves me. Isn't he in the UK, though? Yeah. I'll have to figure something out. Yeah, I would. I was gonna email him the other day and mention it. So. Yeah, he's got a good. He's growing. Fast, yeah, isn't he? he is. What do I think of Mineral Eighty Nine? Is that their hyaluronic serum or the brand Mineral Eighty Nine? Yes, everyone wants a collab with Mad About Skin. Okay. Oh, I got another dog picture. Oh, another dog picture. You know what, the Inky List Sussanic Acid Treatment, I feel like for certain kinds of breakouts it works well, and other kinds of breakouts it doesn't do much. It's got a lot of proven ingredients in there, as well as Sussanic Acid, which hasn't really been used as an acne treatment in the past. It's mostly just used as a buffering ingredient. But for just like normal little breakouts, I think it works okay. I was kind of happy with it. I been testing it off and on and for certain breakouts it does good but for like cystic acne and things like that i don't know if the ingredients are enough to really help but overall it's pretty good so let's see uh alpha i'll type it out alpha alpha spelled like that they sell it at alta I think. Let me check it out. Hang on. Like colic. Let's see. Hang on. I'm working on it. Uh, they'll, they'll just have to look at dog pictures where you work. <laughs> well, here's the link to it at walmart but i wouldn't buy it at walmart personally but this is just the link so you know which product it is oof that's a long link no well, i they can't can click on it if you posted it in the chat yeah but it's too many words it's too many letters hang on Yeah, Walmart, I would be very cautious of, it, of anything you buy in Walmart because they're like Amazon from like five years ago. But not their store. No, not the store. I'm just talking about Walmart online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're... Uh, Walmart online is what Amazon was a long time ago. They've just got a lot of issues right now, I guess I'll say. And there's a lot of people selling products that probably aren't real. So, just be cautious of it. Okay, here it is. And this link I can actually send this time. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sunscreen for people of color i need to do that you know what i finally just ordered that uh, black girl's sunscreen i'm excited to try that one i've got so many sunscreens coming in the next month we should be getting like a package every day it should be amazing like christmas every day so i'm excited 
You know what, the Dr. Brenner Vitamin C Serum is nearly 100% identical to the SkinCeuticals Vitamin C, with the exception that it has just a little bit more vitamin C in it. So if you've ever tried the SkinCeuticals one and you liked it, the Dr. Brenner is like an affordable, nearly identical dupe. So, let's see. Yeah, you saw Misha product on Walmart's website because it made me suspicious. You know, I became suspicious of Walmart's website. I didn't realize that they had become this kind of iffy, but there was a La Roche-Posay product I was looking for, and I could not find it on any site that would ship it to the U.S., and I found it on Walmart, and then I started doing research about the seller of it and found them to be very sketchy, and the person that was selling it had done a lot of sketchy legal things in the past so it looked like they were just kind of either fakes or maybe they because you can't really travel right now very much so it's not like they had traveled there bought a bunch and brought it back so that's when i did a little bit more research and walmart is amazon has done a lot to get things under control they're still not perfect with a lot of brands but walmart is amazon it's like the wild wild west of beauty products right now so i probably won't go out of my way to buy anything from walmart okay. online Yes, the store is fine, but their website, they need to do something to get it under control, so. Okay. Oh, so my next series I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, vitamin C tournament. So if you guys have a vitamin C serum you want to see in the tournament, somebody reminded me about it just now. I'm going to do, that's my new, next tournament. I haven't done a tournament in a while. My last term, I think, was the zinc-only sunscreen. So I'm going to do a vitamin C tournament. It's going to be maybe a week long. I'm going to feature a lot of vitamin C serums, quickly knock them out, and then get to the best. So I'm excited about it. So if you guys have a vitamin C recommendation, uh, leave a comment or message me or whatever, and I can add it in. I've got a lot already, so. Somebody said Target, too. Target online. Oh, yeah, a Amazon is getting better with a lot of stuff, but they're still not totally perfect. Like, if you're a huge brand, generally your market will be locked by Amazon. So, like, I believe La Roche-Posay themselves, they're like a locked, is that what they're called? Like a locked brand? Yeah, yeah the brand is locked. The brand is locked where other people can't sell it unless La Roche-Posay has approved it. But smaller brands on Amazon... I was looking at a sunscreen last night. I'm trying to remember which one it was. But I found one person on Amazon that sold it and it looked sketchy. But they're just a really small brand. So, oh, we're black. Blackout. There we go. We're back. Um, you should tell them that we used to be able to sell that stuff. Yeah, there's a couple things we used to be able to sell on Amazon. Like any of that, though. Yeah. Yeah, basically, like, I think we only sold, like, one thing ever, though. No. Oh, we sold a couple. Things. We sold like two things, maybe. Yeah, then they locked it. And then they up. locked it all up. Yeah. Oh, the new skin suitical is finally released in the U.S. Thank you, Freedom Life, for telling me that because I've been waiting, waiting to try the Silly Marin, and it kept saying coming soon, coming soon, and I was trying to figure out how to get that early, but I couldn't figure that one out. So I'm excited; it's finally available. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that one up and include it in my tests. So I'm excited. Haven't tried. Oh, you bought the Timeless one from Target. I'm excited. The Timeless one, that's still one of my favorites, and it's pretty affordable. So, I love the new toner from Tarte. Which one is that? Is that the Knockout, or did they come out with another new one? Key Soul Skin Transformation Cream has a fray. Oh, I'm excited. I love fragrance free. I looked at that Keys, but at first it looked like everything had fragrance in it, but it's good to know that they, they have some fragrance free stuff. I'm excited. Oh, hi from Japan. The Floridan CF. I I think I'll try and include that one too in the verses. Does that run? That's this vitamin C version. Yeah. So, sales are key in skincare. I'm looking for something to cover up dark circles without having to wear foundation. You know, the couple ones that I tested, the Kiehl's. Youth Dose Vitamin C, not Vitamin, Youth Dose Eye Cream, Retinol Eye Cream. 
the Kiehl's Youth Dose Retinol Eye Cream, it kind of lightens up dark circles a little bit. It's not 100% effective, but it does kind of diffuse the light a little bit. And the other one I liked was the Peach and Lily. They have like a cold brew eye stick, which you can just use around your eyes. I thought that one helped kind of diffuse the light a little bit without having to use foundation. But dark circles are super tough to do. So the Make Prem Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I have not tried that one. I'm going to have to check that one out. Oh, the Tatcha Violet C. I'll have to include that one as well. So... Floridan, us 10%, okay, 10% vitamin C, 2% Floridan, and 0.5% 0.5 ferulic acid. So I'm excited. You know what? When I first, like the very first time I ever got into skincare, they gave me a test trial of all these SkinCeuticals products, and they did lighten my pigmentation, like, noticeably, like within a couple weeks before I really started testing anything. My pigmentation was just uh, melasma, hyperpigmentation, their stuff really helped. So I'm excited. Oh, you like seeing SVR. So so you're in France. So does everyone like the A313 cream and the Biologic Recharge? Because I found most people in France don't test those. Oh, here's our computer. <laughs> We almost didn't have a live stream today because this happened. It was touch and go there for a minute, but we finally got it going. That's all our data. Oh, that's all our that's all our videos and stuff. Which we can't access. Which we right. can't access. <laughs> oh, okay. L'Oreal told you that the CE Ferulic, Floridan CF, and Silly Marin CF are all equivalent in terms of antioxidant protection. That's good to know. I'm excited to try that Silly Marin. I'm I'm glad you told me because. Sometimes I try and watch stuff to remember when it comes into stock, but then I forget. And then something else I get obsessed with, like the Anessa sunscreen, trying to remember February 21st. I think it's ingrained in my brain. So now I'm excited. I got to pick it up tonight or else I'll forget by tomorrow. So have I tried the Goodall serum? Okay, so the Goodall. They've got their Tangerine C Dark Spot Serum, which I really wanted to buy and test, but I knew... After I looked at the ingredient list of it, that there's probably no way, even if I ordered it, that I would put it on because it had so many citrus ingredients in it. I just thought it would irritate the heck out of my skin. So the good all, I did not pick up. I'm sorry. I want to review it, but I just don't think if I buy it, I know if I smell it, it's just going to be too strong, and I think my skin can't handle it. So have I tried the Hygie Relief Sun Moisturizer? I, you know what? The Hygie, I believe... That might be one of the ones that's iffy right now. So if you're thinking about Hygie, check out the ingredients before you start using it. And if they have two filters or less, be very cautious. Because Hygie had some of their products made by the same lab as the other sunscreens. So I'm excited to try those SkinCeutical ones. Pixie has an under eye corrector. The Derma Doctor at Kukadu C is great. I really like that one too. I'll include that one. The Bio Bear, that was another one. I've got that website sitting up on my phone to remind me to order it. So, cameraman, if he can just like not look at the bank account for like a week, I can order all this stuff. <laughs> That's the key. Well, I got a good clip here, Sarah. Oh, we got a good clip coming up. Oh, there's Muffin! <laughs> looks warmer, doesn't it? Yeah. Man, I need to exercise today, though. <laughs> I gotta go exercise, even though it's negative five out. Is that Ike? Oh, he's so cute. They're such good boys. You want the little Yorkies? A couple of them have jumped in the pool. Gertie jumped in the pool after a ball on accident. But she could swim. I didn't know she could swim. She was a rescue, but she did good. She swam, and then I picked her up and scooped her up. So oh, Gipper. Gippers took a midnight swim at the cabin. Gipper was also a rescue. Didn't know he could swim, but he swam for like two hours out there by himself until we found him. That was frightening. <laughs> so <laughs> I know I got to do some exercising tonight. Got to stick on the treadmill. Do, 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 do. Let's see. The Mission Night Repair Pro Bio Ampule. 
You know what? Yeah, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I liked the other ver their, the Misha's version before the current version a little bit better, just because it had less scent in it. But they both have a really good ingredient list. So, <laughs> vitamin C ester, CC and ferulic brightening by pair. Oh, yes, thank you. I I've, I've been mean to. I've got to do more Paracone. I don't think I've reviewed any Paracone MD products ever. So, and I've got some, and I've got to review them. So, thank you. Have I tried the... Oh, yes, the CNP Lab Mugner Ampule. Is that the one with the mist? Because they make a couple of them. The one of the mist was amazing. And I think the Mugner products from CNP were all fragrance-free, so I really like those. So, da-da-da-da. Okay. Pharmacy Honey Halo is fragrance-free, although it says flavor. I know. You know what? That annoys me when brands do that. They advertise it as fragrance-free, but technically there's a scent to it, or they add flavor, or this ingredient or that ingredient, and it's kind of unfortunate that brands can market things as fragrance-free, but put scent in them, or write scent-free, even though they put flavor in them. And you know what? It's really hard with COVID even to test anything if you want to, if there's something really expensive and you don't want to buy it online, you want to go in the store to smell it first. It's nearly impossible to even do that these days. And buying foundation or beauty balms is even more difficult because you really can't test them out. So, oh, they think the Super Goop sunscreen with vitamin C was a mess. Uh, you know what? I agree. The way they advertise it is that it kind of has a sunscreen, but then when you read deeper into the fine print of it, they kind of mean it more as a vitamin C serum, and they really mean you to put sunscreen over it. But the bottle is so little. I mean, there's no way that bottle is going to even last a month. And especially if you're using at least a quarter of a teaspoon, that bottle is so little. I mean, inexpensive. So I hope Supergroup's next stuff is great. So, oh, okay. I just hit 10 pounds off this morning with my wedding diet. I wish I had a treadmill because I don't want to go outside. That's awesome. 10 pounds is awesome. You know what? It's, you know what? And the biggest thing for me is water, drinking more water. But, yeah, going outside is brutal. Especially if it's really freaking cold out. Where are they from? Where are you from, Lori? I'm just impressed you're able to... You know what? 10 pounds is impressive. You know what? You're on the way. Keep going. When's the wedding? When is the wedding? Everyone wants to know. Oh, is the a Dr. Brenner vitamin C compatible with acne prone skin? Hang on, let me look it up quick. Hang on. I'm going to find out exactly what is in there. Hang on. For Katy Perry's fan. Okay, so the Dr. Brenner vitamin C. It has Lorth 23, which is more of a fungal acne trigger. Vitamin E, which is slightly acneogenic, and then tri triethanolamine. So it's got three ingredients that aren't the best for acne-prone skin. But l acid in and of itself is kind of an acne-fighting ingredient. So I guess if you... Vitamin E is one of those where some people can handle it just fine and some people break out from it. So I think that would be the deciding factor is if vitamin E has worked okay for you in the past, I would go with it. If not, I'd probably try and find something else. Sorry about that. I, I wanted to answer that. So, yeah, the Dr. Brenner is not good for oily, acne-prone skin. So, yeah, you know what? It's, it's very emollient. It's very hydrating, which is probably why I like it. But if you have oilier skin, it might kind of just feel greasy so the geek and gorgeous seagull is great that's what i use today i love it so any product suggestions for getting rid of the deep wrinkles between my eyebrows oh those are hard the 11 lines i don't have an 11 line so much but i've got like a cross line <laughs> in between my eyebrows going the other direction i think it's because i do this so much like what are you talking about so i've got that line there other than like retinols, Botox might be the easiest thing to do. It might just be 
like a couple of just little injections right there. So those are hard. Retinol is the goal. So, oh, the wedding is in July. Her goal is 35 pounds. She's on keto. Took eight days to, wow, that's imp eight days to lose 10 pounds. That's impressive. Wow. I'm amazed. I gotta try that. Can I you can you have Snicker ice cream bars on the keto diet? I think I'd probably whittle down to zero if I couldn't eat those though. So let's see. Is different any good for anti aging? Uh different there's no real studies on it for anti aging, but I've been using it now since it became available over the counter in the US and I feel like it does help with the anti-aging and I've really with winter here I've cut back on my retinol and retinoid usage a lot but I still use the different at least three days a week and I feel like it does help with fine lines so I think it's kind of I wish they would do some studies on it because even like tretinin and things like that there's not a lot of studies on it's anti-aging but retinoids in general are anti-aging so I feel like the different does help with anti-aging so let's see Maybe the Vichy vitamin C is good, but no ferulic acid and no third antioxidant, so it won't be as powerful. Yeah. Yeah, Vichy, you know what, they could make some amazing products, but in general, they just don't. Maybe they're just focused on being more minimal with their ingredient list, but like their hyaluronic serum and things just were average. So, yeah. Yeah, if you start out with the different, just do it slow. That's the key. Slow is the key. So, well, maybe I'll try the good all fragrance on the good all pretty mild and fades fast. Maybe I'll have to check it out. I keep going back and forth. It's not that expensive. I should just try it. So let's see. Oh, freedom's going to move to prescription tretinin soon. You'll have to let me know how it goes and if you're, how slow you'll introduce it and how your skin handles it. So Oh, someone says, thanks again. You're pretty awesome. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Tretinin is the best. You know, so there's tretinin like cream and there's a tretinin gel. I believe like in a couple of years ago, I tried the tretinin gel and that seemed to have a lot of alcohol, but maybe the other version of tretinin doesn't have as much alcohol. So maybe I should try it at some point. So I don't know. The Vichy Mineral 89 stings, and I cannot figure out why it's such a mundane ingredient list. You know what? I just, hyaluronic acid, I'm over it. I'm sick of seeing it in every product. It just makes other things pill. You know what I mean? It just, and unless it's a cross polymer or chopped up version of hyaluronic acid, it really doesn't get absorbed. It kind of just sits on the skin. So, so, oh, Apostrophe is making a slow release tretinin formula that you can get. Oh, I'm going to have to, ah. I'm going to have to check that one out. <laughs> this is <getting> <laughs> hey, but when I'm 50, I'll look like I'm 10. So anyway. Okay. Oh, Niode Survival. I'm going to be reviewing that, I believe, tomorrow. Either tomorrow or Sunday. So be sure to check that out. So... Yes, the Good Skin Days Vitamin C is great. I like it. Some people mentioned it oxidizes quickly. I didn't notice that, but other people did. So, yeah, the Survival is pretty good. I like the Zero. The one I'm going to review tomorrow is the SPF 30. So, but they're both good. So, let's see. Okay. Well, I think anything else you guys want to discuss? Otherwise, I'm going to get to working on the Vitamin C Tournament. And be sure to keep me posted on anything specifically you want to see. So, let's see. Foreo Bear. What is the Foreo Bear? I'm not sure. Is that the uh, is that the one that does the thing like the... Um, <laughs> I'm very specific, aren't I? The Foreo Bear is the one that does the microcurrent technology, I believe. It's similar to the New Face. So, I haven't tried it, but the New Face... Some people have really dramatic results with it, with the microcurrent thing, and I use it and I don't really notice much of a difference. So, I don't know. Step by step. That reminds me of New Kids on the Block. Step by step. Ooh, baby, gonna get to you. I love New Kids on the Block. Sometimes they're even on the radio still, so. Thank you, Chloe. I'll definitely do another live stream in the next couple weeks. 
And if we hear anything else about any more sunscreen tests, I don't know when they're ever going to happen, but I'm dying to know about some of these other sunscreens. So I have not tried the Algenist Sublime Defense 50, but I do own it. So I'll try and review that one. I've tried another Algenist. Oh, their Algenist Probiotic one in the pink bottle. And I like it, but it's only SPF 30, which is probably isn't, oh, it's like 15 maybe. So I'll try and review that one too. Paula's Choice C15, I'll have to include that one. Yeah, the Survival is, the Niode Survival is pretty good. So, oh, Australia. Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of, oh, Hygie came out with an SPF 32. But it's not SPF 50. Yeah, so Hygie's got some of the same issues that some of the others do. So the Inky List Retinol Serum, it's emollient enough. So I think if you start using that one, it's not as strong as they say it is. So it could be a good start for retinol. Just be sure to use a good moisturizer and be sure to start slow. Two days a week at most. Don't do more. Don't do more. Start out slow. DMA, uh, DMAE. Uh, you know what? It's controversial, but I know it's one of those ingredients that's kind of an antioxidant, they say. So I'm going to have to do more research on it before I give a total opinion on it. But maybe I'll do an ingredient spotlight on that because I've got a lot of serums that include it. So I'll add it to my spotlight ingredient. How does that sound? I don't know the... I know I can pronounce the abbreviation for it, but I can't pronounce DMAE <laughs> the whole word, so... Let's see. LA Shield Sunscreen. I'll check that one out. I have not tried Curology, but I'm going to check it out. Marky Mark was my husband before he was Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> hey, your husband's friends with my husband, Brad Pitt. Aren't they like BFFs? <laughs> right? Sure. <laughs> Gotham Mist is 48 years old. Did you guys see that? That's crazy. She looks like she's like 28. I bet she used sunscreen very diligently when she was younger and I wish I would have too but so okay well oh Belgium have we been to Belgium yep. Belgium was cool <laughs> they didn't have any waffles though I really wanted a waffle Good beer. oh Marky Mark Dr. Sam I've been meaning to check that one out too I know there's so much stuff I've got to ah uh, can you incorporate different with tretinin I don't know if I would do that. I guess if you're already using tretinin, tretinin's stronger than differin. So if you're already using tretinin like every night to switch from tretinin and then add differin in alternating nights, I could see that. But if you already don't use tretinin, then I wouldn't do that. But if you already use it, it's stronger than differin. So there we go. Thank you guys. Oh, Anna, I appreciate the Naturium video. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, we'll do another video, so keep me posted. And if you have any vitamin C suggestions, let me know. And I will see you guys again in a couple weeks. Unless we hear more sunscreen stuff, then I'll do something earlier. So thank you, guys. This was fun. I'll see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right. Yep, we're done. And we're